In this video, we're going to talk about Penguinizer XP, and I'm going to explain how it works. Before we get started, let's check the Settings tab over here. Now, in the Settings tab, you're going to notice that we have General Settings, Captcha Settings, and an option to update the applications. So, at the moment, I'm running the latest version. However, if you're not running the latest version, we highly recommend you update it to the latest version so you get the latest features, latest fixes, and everything else that comes with it. Now, if you have a CAPTCHA account with decapture.com or deathbycaptcha.com, then by all means, you're welcome to use that account. If not, you can use manually CAPTCHAs solving. So, in this case, we're going to stick with manual. Now, let's go to main over here. We need to enter the website URL. So, for this example, I'm going to go with http colon slash slash www.seomaximus.com. For keyword number one, I'm going to enter SEO ranking software. Now, keyword number two and keyword number three can be left empty. Only website URL and keyword number one are mandatory. Okay, now that we have this entered here, we can simply go ahead and click Start, and the software will start working for us. So as you can see, it starts off by obtaining the proxies list, and it found 99 proxies. Now, it, it's trying to connect to these proxies. However, because these proxies are free, sometimes it'll take a while for the software to find an appropriate proxy to work with. So as you can see here, the proxy has been successfully set and has now started working. Let's give the software a little while to work. And while the software does that, I'm just going to go here and address the session settings. So over here, you can see that we have scrape all keyword providers, scrape AdWords only, and scrape all LSI keywords only. In this case, we went with scrape all keyword providers, but if you're focusing more on AdWords, you can go ahead and select AdWords only, or you can go with LSI keywords, which are basically just a fancy name for synonyms for keywords that are related to your main keyword. So now we have a CAPTCHA here, and I'm going to go ahead and enter it. Okay, done. And as you can see, pretty quickly, we have a list of all the keywords that are related to our main keywords, and these keywords are very, very penguin friendly. And if you go ahead and use these keywords as your anchor text, Google is going to give your site a big advantage. With the help of Penguin XP, we're able to get an extensive list of keywords. So as you can see, this is a very good list. Now, if you were to go ahead and add keyword number two and keyword number three, this keyword list would be much, much longer. But since we only did one keyword, this is what we got, which is just enough for us. Okay, so this is how simple it is to use Penguinizer XP. Now, if we go to Keywords Editor, we can go ahead and edit some of our keywords. So these are the received keywords, and over here are the selected keywords. So you obviously don't want to use all the received keywords. You can go ahead and just select a couple that look good for you. We also have the Google AdWords keywords, and as I said, if you're focusing more on AdWords, then this is the list you want to be focusing on. So go ahead, check out this list after you generate the keywords, and I'm sure you're going to find some top anchor text links that are very